Hey, beautiful people. Huda Beauty is thought to be one of the fastest growing beauty brands in the world. Brand's velocity has been propelled by social media and it's led Huda Kaptan to be named one of the most influential people on the internet in 2017 by Time. She's also one of the top beauty influencers in the world as named by Forbes. Huda and family haven't been afraid to try anything in the social media space. In 2018, they began their reality series on web TV service Facebook Watch. I'm a rebel at the heart of me. Like, I am a true rebel. I like to kind of challenge rules and question why they're there. So as social media has evolved, their use of it has evolved too. It hasn't always been a smooth ride. At first it was a trial and error, you know, but then I saw like what was working, you know, what was doing well, and um, we started reposting people's work. And yeah, we were growing super fast, and, um, but now we've changed our strategy, learning and uh, adapting and changing things. We don't actually know if this is gonna work. This could be a complete waste of time. Social media is our big one. I mean, we have a platform that Huda has a megaphone and she speaks directly to over 40 million people. And she has such an authentic voice uh, and people really respect that. So when she says something, people believe her, you know? So, you know, you launch this new amazing palette, you know, and people want to go and buy it once they see her talking about it. Welcome to my closet. But as the business grows, there's a balancing act, posting content that performs versus content that helps sales. Sometimes that content, that content that um, you know helps us push products doesn't do well. Because I used to only want to grow, but now you have to look at other things as well. You have to think about engagement, and because sometimes that content engagement that gets a lot of comments and likes doesn't help you with growth. It was the arrival of Instagram that arguably has been the greatest platform for Huda Beauty, but could they be a victim of their own success? I feel like we encouraged a lot of people to, you know, start an Instagram page and I feel like it's become oversaturated and I feel like people are starting to rethink how social media works. Why is Instagram such a, a good tool for this business and, and you? I, you know, I think originally Instagram started out so strong. Um, when, you know, originally people maybe were doing fashion and then when it really started hitting off beauty is when they started doing the 60 second videos. Then all of a sudden you could see like the start to finish and beauty took off. Um, nothing aside from food was really that, you know, that kind of editorial or that kind of way you could actually learn. Um, and so people were just fascinated and they were hooked and they would, they would see everything they would see on YouTube in 60 seconds and then you started seeing clickbait. It was like this new term that came out because people were really trying to grab people in 60 seconds and make them stay. And so it was really fascinating. Um, and, and to some point, Instagram was amazing for beauty. But now I think also, you know, there's kind of been a detriment within Instagram where, you know, the fact that things are so pho photoshopped, facetuned, everything is perfect. The captions are thought out so much. There's not enough rawness in it. Um, I think IG stories is supposed to be, you know, the way that you can kind of create a little bit more of, um, you know, raw, real moments. But within beauty, it's challenging because, you know, you need to be honest about beauty. And that's where it's maybe not so much. Um, it's a challenge. Hi, I'm James Wright, and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.